Saints, I'm Izzy DeBlasi. And I'm McKenna Cox. We are your anchors, and NDP Live Weekly starts now. Saints, today is the same day a popular pain reliever was patented. A German chemist created the main compound from willow bark while trying to create a pain reliever for his dad with arthritis. Bayer's aspirin was then patented on March 3, 1899. That's super cool, Izzy. Another fun fact is that spring break is coming up. Only one more week until we can finally relax. What are you doing for spring break? I'm having a staycation and catching up on some much needed sleep. I wonder what all of our amazing faculty and students are doing. I'm going skiing. Nice. Uh, Park City, Utah. I'm working and it's my birthday and Lily Zano is taking me to Taylor Swift. Probably going to do stuff at home with my family um, and do a little grading, but basically do not, next to nothing, just read books. I'm going up, up to Omaha, nice. where I'm from. What are your plans there? Uh, really just see the family. Uh, got a lot of family there. Watch some baseball. Taking lots of naps, kissing my babies. I am going to be practicing my lines and songs for the upcoming musical happening the last two weekends of March. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of that. I'm going to go to the beach in California. And I'm going to Africa for spring break. Thank you. Also, Saints, it's never too early to plan ahead. Christian service deadlines for the spring semester are April 3rd for seniors and April 24th for underclassmen. If you need more service hours, check out the opportunities listed on X2Vol or check Canvas for more options. And while we're talking about planning ahead, summer school registration opens on March 3rd for current students. If you want to get ahead of the game or need to make up a class, be sure to sign up. Summer school dates and course selections are on the NDP Saints website. Make sure to check it out. Another summer opportunity for incoming juniors and seniors is to apply to be a peer mentor in the ARC this summer. You can earn up to 30 Christian service hours. Contact Mrs. Kreshog if you are interested. Registration for next year's classes is still open. Be sure you check out the list of possible electives by accessing the electives fair links posted in Canvas. And remember, you have to be logged into your school Microsoft account in order to view the courses. Thanks, McKenna. Now, on to the after school activities coming up. The drama department has been working hard on this year's spring musical, Anastasia. There are shows the 23rd through the 26th, as well as the 30th, 31st, and April 1st. Here's NDP's theater director, Ms. Sakira, to tell you more about this year's spring musical, Anastasia. And this follows the story of Anastasia Romanoff after um, the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia, where the Romanovs are believed to be dead. However, there's a rumor that one of them is still alive. And it's about a young woman named Anya who's trying to find out if she is, in fact, this long-lost Anastasia Romanov. Thanks, Ms. Akira. Tickets are $10 for students and $12 for adults. They can be bought on NDP's website. Come support our wonderful actors and actresses. There's a lot going on in sports this week. Here's Alex Stefano with sports. Hey Saints, welcome back to NDP Sports. This week we have a lot of sports news to talk about, so let's get right into it. Thanks Izzy and McKenna. I'm Alex Stefano, and this is NDP Sports. Last week, boys lacrosse played Oro Valley winning 17 to seven, and Boulder Creek winning 10 to eight. This week, they play Brophy tomorrow and St. Mark's on Saturday. Good luck, Saints. Girls lacrosse plays Corona del Sol last week, and this week, they play at Higley on Thursday. Good luck, girls. Baseball plays Canyon View tomorrow, Centennial on Wednesday, and Desert Edge on Friday. Last week, they lost to Sunrise Mountain nine to eight. Softball plays Canyon View tomorrow, Centennial on Wednesday, and Higley on Thursday. Last week, they played Sunrise Mountain, losing 4-3, and their Williams Field game got canceled due to the rain. Tennis played Ironwood and Seaton Catholic, winning both games 9-0. Beach Volleyball played Buckeye Union, winning 5-0, even with the crazy weather conditions. Boys Volleyball played Verado, losing 0-3 in sets last week. This week, they play South Mountain tomorrow. Next, congrats to cheer and Palm teams, who went all the way to Nationals. Both teams advanced to the United States Spirit National Championship last week in California. The cheer team won the national championship for large varsity show cheer, taking home number one. The Palm team also did well, placing fifth in the advanced small jazz category. 
We are super proud of both teams. Way to go, girls. That's all for sports this week. Get after it, Saints. Back to you, McKenna and Izzy. Thanks, Alex. Now it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the week, Saint of the Week. This week, Saint of the Week is everyone who worked on putting together our school's annual Giving Day live stream. What looks like six hours of fun online actually takes months of planning and preparation. Miss Glenn has been coordinating and leading the NDP Live Club for several years, and she, along with Mr. Justin Bramble, felicitated the students, faculty, and staff who put in dozens of many hours into the project. All of the money raised goes into NDP's fund, which pays for things like campus improvements, beautification, professional development, scholarships, and more. Thank you, Miss Glenn, and all the students and staff who participated in this year's Giving Day. We appreciate you, and congratulations for being this week's Saint of the Week. That does it for this week's announcements. We hope you enjoyed watching it, and we'll see you after spring break. Don't forget to stick around for a word from our sponsor, Black Rock Coffee. See, see you next time, Saints. Saints.